Hi, Vance from Ketosis Alive, and I wanted to bring you a presentation today about five lies that keep people from trying the keto diet. These are some of the lies that I ran into in Liar Liars, Pants on Fires, because they're keeping a lot of people from experiencing the benefits of the keto, keto diet, uh, like weight loss, appetite reduction, uh, blood sugar control, inflammation going down, cholesterol being balanced out, high blood pressure, heart health, brain health, brain fog gone. I love that. And a lot of people have been helped with their acne issues. So shame on those to spread those lies and shame on us for not doing our research in order to find out the truth because a lot of people could have been helped that haven't been helped yet. So one of the things that was said that you're going to hate your food. I thought I might hate my food uh, when I began to consider the keto diet, but nothing could be farther from the truth, uh, especially when you begin to see the the results and the and the pounds coming off, uh, one, two, three pounds in, in in a day. Sometimes it's exciting, and you begin to love your food when you see that kind of result. Love it with a passion because you're shedding weight and becoming more healthy on a daily basis. And the other one was high fat foods are bad for you. Well, uh, there's two kinds of keto diets. There's a dirty keto diet, and then there's a, a healthy, clean one. And I like to go with the healthy type <laughs> because uh, that's what we're working for is, is better health. And it's saved my life. So there are lots of good high fat foods that are he healthy for you and will encourage your body to burn fat for fuel and uh, instead of carbohydrates that we used to feed our body. Another one, it's hard to stay on keto. No, that's not true at all. Because once you start shedding pounds, uh, literally sometimes three pounds in a day, that's quite exciting. And it's hard, it's hard not to be excited. And it's hard to consider even eating any other way when you begin to see the results of the keto diet. Another one, oh, I'll die on keto. And I had people approach me and say, you're going to kill yourself doing that. You, you don't know what you're doing. You got to eat. You got to have those carbs. Now, I didn't die on keto. Uh, my health has improved tremendously. And in fact, I would be dead by now if I wasn't on keto and lost all the weight that I lost and uh, dropped my blood pressure and my cholesterol corrected and my blood sugar uh, corrected. Oh, come on. You're not going to die on keto. You're just going to get healthier and you're going to lose a lot of weight. And then, oh, I'm too busy to go on keto. Well, uh, I can see too busy to research it, but if you're too busy to research uh, the keto diet, uh, then you're going to miss out on uh, something that could really benefit your life and bring you to a greater st uh, state of well-being. Um, once you're on the keto diet, you find that you have more time because you have more energy. You you get your work done faster. Your brain fog is gone. And uh, your life and health just improves tremendously. So uh, to say that you're too busy to go on keto uh, is a misnomer because you just end up with more time because you're healthier and you're excited about life. And what my encouragement to you is to do your research. Look it up. Begin to find out for yourself what the keto diet can do for you.